Revelation 3132, from the 25th of May 1944. Condition to Truth, Way to God. Few people take the straight path to reach the truth, the direct path to God, who offers it to them without restriction. People do not become small and humble in the sense of the word and bow before him in the realization of their own inadequacy and weakness. They value their intellect too highly and likewise their own strength. And so they believe they can acquire the truth through research and brooding. But they forget that spiritual truths are only given by God himself, that no human being can take them for himself but that they have to be given to him and that the giver of truth considers those who come to him like begging children and, feeling spiritually poor, ask him for his gift of grace. The human being should wrestle and pray. Wrestle against the enemy of his soul who wants to make him incapable of recognizing God by feeding him error, by taking possession of his thinking, thus this wrestling requires a strength and will. And pray for strength, grace and truth. The gift of grace, which God directs to earth, completely enlightens the human being about it so that he only needs to take the path, shown to him in order to be introduced to truth. And even if people try to attain it in the most diverse ways, they must enter this one path. The path to God, otherwise they will never be able to penetrate the profound knowledge although intellectually knowledge is made accessible to them through fellow human beings. It will only gain life if its spirit is enlightened by God and this requires humble prayer for it. Therefore, faith in a being must first be present, which, as the giver of truth, unites itself with the human being if the latter strives for a connection with him. Faith in this being is the prerequisite for being introduced to the truth. But if this faith is not present, then the intellect will only be active in a negative way, that is it will draw conclusions which deviate from the truth, because then it will be a welcome object for the forces of darkness, which will then take it upon themselves to confuse its thoughts. God can only express himself where he is recognized. But recognition is faith and this initial faith in a perfect being will soon experience an all-encompassing expansion, for as soon as this perfect being is asked for enlightenment of the spirit, for the supply of pure, truth, it will now also be possible for the human being to believe everything that is mentally presented to him, for this is the characteristic of truth, that its supply is accompanied by the strength of recognition that the human being thus recognizes truth as such and this is convinced faith. If a person seeks to attain knowledge intellectually, he is indeed just as convinced of the truth of his mental results as every representative of a school of thought proves, but the person who seriously strives for truth must also seriously ask himself whether prayer to God in all humility of heart for pure truth and right knowledge has formed the basis of his knowledge. For God is the giver of truth, and God also distributes it to the one who consciously turns his will towards him and expresses this through heartfelt prayer. This is a condition from which God does not depart and which is therefore the touchstone where different results claim the right to be recognized as pure, truth. Amen.